Hello friends, in today's lecture, we will be seeing the problem number 5 for analytical reasoning test. We have seen already 4 problems of this type. Now, let us go for the 5th problem. So now, we are going for the 5th problem which says that B, M, T, R, K, H and D are traveling in a train compartment with 3rd tire sleeper berth. Each of them has a different profession of engineer, doctor, architect, pharmacist, lawyer, journalist and pathologist. They occupy two lower berths, three middle berths and two upper berths. So please take a screenshot of this first page and let us go for the second page. Now the second page says that B, the engineer, is not on the upper berth. The architect is the only other person who occupies the same type of berth as of B. M and H are not on the middle berth and their professions are pathologist and lawyer respectively. T e is a pharmacist. D is neither a journalist nor an architect. And K occupies the same type of berth as that of doctor. So please take a screenshot of this page as well. So students, since we have taken the screenshots of the first two pages, let us go for the diagram. So we will be having the passenger, birth and occupation rows. So I'll write it down as passenger, occupation and birth. So we are having B, M, T, R, K, H and D. Now the condition says that now students, we know that B is an engineer, so I will write down his occupation. We know that architect occupies the same bird as that of B who is an engineer. Now we know that since the engineer is not on the upper bird, he should definitely be on the lower bird as the middle bird has already been occupied by three people. Now for the next condition, it says that M and H are having the occupations of a pathologist and a lawyer. So we'll just write it down. Now we know that the pathologist and lawyer will go for the upper birds as the lower birds have already been occupied and also the middle birds have already been occupied. So in the occupation, we will write the pathologist will occupy the upper bird whereas the lawyer will also occupy the upper bird. Now we know that T e is a pharmacist. Now D is neither a journalist nor an architect. So we can say that D is a doctor. Now we know that K occupies the same bird as that of D or the doctor. So definitely we can say that K is the journalist. And finally we have the R as the architect. Now we have to go for the birth places. Now we are done with three of the birth places which is lower, upper and upper. Now as of now we are left with four birth places. Now from the conditions we can say that T will occupy the middle birth, R will occupy the lower birth, K will occupy the middle birth, H will occupy the upper birth and D will occupy the middle birth. So we have completed the table. Now let us go for the MCQs. Before going for the MCQs, please take a screenshot of this table. Now the first question is asking that who is the architect? Option A is D, option B is H, option C is R, data inadequate or none of these. So from the table, we know that R is the architect. So we can say that option C is the right answer. The next question says, what is D's profession? We know that students D is a doctor and we have already framed it in the table. So we can say that D is the doctor. Now the next MCQ is asking us that which of the following pairs occupy the lower birds? Now students from the table, we know that B and R are the pairs who have occupied the lower birds, but we are not having these options which is B and R. So we can definitely say that the answer to this question will be none of these or option E.
Now for the next MCQ, it says which of the following groups occupied the middle berth? Is it DKT, HKT, DKR, DHT or none of these? Now we know that students from the table, we have got the answer to be as DKT. These are the three people who have occupied the middle berth. So the answer to this question will be option A, which is DKT. And now for the last MCQ, it says which of the following combinations of person or birth or profession is correct. We need the person first, then we need the birth, then we need the professions. These three things have to be there and we have to find out the options which are correct. So students from the table, we have got that R is the person who is occupying the lower birth and he is the architect. So as per the person, birth and profession, we know that option D, which is R, lower and architect or R, lower birth and architect, which is a profession is the right answer. So students, we can say that option D, which is R, lower and architect is the right answer. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Informatica and do subscribe our channel.